known better as the basement of history, Grand Canyon is among the most historical benchmarks located in the United States. It is an archetype of rock layers, where each rock is backed with historical values which dates back to the beginning of Earth. The structure has always captivated the tourists, and the researchers as well. Recently, a group of scientists directed a research on which resulted in shocking theories that could possibly change the course of history. Stick throughout the video to find out what these terrific results are and how could they possibly cancel all our previous theories. Grand Canyon is missing over a billion years of rocks. As we mentioned earlier, the Grand Canyon has served as proof of all those years that went by after the creation of Earth. Won't it be astonishing to know that there are a billion years worth of rock layers missing with no traces of what happened? The discovery was so baffling that it has been nicknamed the Great Unconformity and was first discovered by John Wesley Powell in 1869 as he was voyaging near the Colorado River. A decade later, geologists confirmed the detection and found that the missing rock layers dated back to 1.4 to 1.8 billion years and were aligned next to the layers which are supposedly 520 million years old. Then, where did all the other layers go? The scientists have brought forward some explanations to this strange gap, such as one study suggested that the geological record of the Grand Canyon might have been more compounded than we actually thought, and the layers might have been some sort of transition which caused a few layers to disintegrate into the ocean. In an attempt to figure out the reason behind the gap, a group of researchers used analytical methods which helped them to understand the causes of the Great Unconformity. The method used is called thermochronology. It uses several chemical techniques to gauge the thermal energy of a rock when it was formed. The results suggested that certain events would have caused the odd gap in the rock layers. Further digging revealed that the disappearance happened at the same time as the severe partition of the supercontinent Rodinia which is said to have occurred 630 to 750 million years ago. That might have been a calamitous time period which left the rock layers uneven. After going through the samples, the team said that the Grand Canyon has experienced different distortion at both its sides. The study revealed that the western half of the rock layers rose to the ground around 700 million years ago, whereas the eastern half is still various kilometers underground. The results of this research are not sound enough to jump to conclusions about the Great Unconformity. However, the team says that this is a big stepping stone to solve the quest of the missing rock layers. Did you know that some prehistoric life forms were detected in the Grand Canyon? The surprising discovery of different life creatures initiated when a geologist, Alan Krill, was hiking along with his students, and a boulder displaced and fell to the ground. They were going around Grand Canyon National Park's Bright Angel. The displaced boulder was on the trail. As Krill took a better look, he noticed that it had some odd footprints on it. Intrigued by the oddness, he took a few pictures of the footprints and sent it to one of his friends, Stephen Ronald, who was a paleontologist. The photos were surveyed at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, where it turned out that the prints were antiquated footprints, possibly 313 million years old, which means it is the oldest vertebrate footprint to be found in the Grand Canyon. It was also suggested that the animal could have been an amniote, which is a large hard shell egg-laying animal. The boulder containing the footprints were approximately 100 pounds and was teared apart using mana capture formation, a sandstone which is approximately 314 million years old. The scientists found out two sets of footprints on the boulder. After further investigation, the scientists were able to confirm that the footprints were estimated 330 million years old. Roland noticed that the fossil track showed two different reptilian animals crossing diagonally over the spot. 
He also observed that one of the animals was about a foot long and used a lateral sequence walk, in which an animal moves its left rear foot first, followed by its left front, before moving its right rear front, and finally its right front. Scientists are still determining whether the tracks were made by two different reptilian animals or by the same animal. The Grand Canyon Caves filled with sloth dung and mummified bats. A majority of the cliffs at the Grand Canyon have caves implanted in them. The caves are filled with varieties of fossils, which helps us get a better look at the creatures that have lived here before us. The caves usually have different sizes and shapes. For instance, some could be as confined as only allowing one person to pass through, where some are as wide as allowing four to five people to easily stay inside the cave. Regardless of size, the caves provided a perfect environment for bats, birds, and rats that are no more present. Researchers were able to access 40,000 years of history and learn about life during the Ice Age, all thanks to the well-preserved fossils. Starting with a rampart cave at the far west end of the canyon, scientists discovered several dung balls scattered across the floor. At first glance, one might have assumed that they were excreted recently, but they were actually made by a 500-pound Chester ground sloth that had been extinct for over 10,000 years. When the dung was analyzed using radiocarbon dating, the sloth dung deposits were dated to be over 10,000 years old. The animals ate pollen that was floating through the air. The University of North Steve Emsley, a professor of biology, was able to evaluate the condors. According to this chemical research, the megafauna went extinct, which could have killed the Grand Canyon condors because they were probably devouring them as a delicacy. The Colorado River is about to dry up. One of the distinctive features of the Grand Canyon is the Colorado River, which originates in the Rocky Mountains and flows 1,500 miles south through canyons, deserts, waterfalls, lush wetlands, and canyons before entering into the Gulf of California. The Colorado River is used for kayaking, canoeing, and other watercraft excursions, providing Grand Canyon visitors with an enjoyable diversion while they are there. Unfortunately, Scientists have revealed that the river will soon run out completely if immediate action is not taken. Environmentalists believe the drought may have been started when Western states started to divide the water by building dams and diverting the flow to cities like Los Angeles, Phoenix, San Diego, and other rapidly expanding cities. Dam engineers view the diversion of the Colorado River as a triumph but the environmentalists believe it has been the menace to the river, notably in the past decade. The river has been flowing low for some time now, ever before fish became a worry in the Southwest, although the river still flows well at the Grand Canyon. Boaters are still seen sailing across Lake Mead in Nevada and Arizona. However, at the lake's edge, distinct lines in the rock walls can be seen showing that the water level is significantly lower than it once was. Although environmentalists acknowledge that climate change is a factor, they also believe that dams and river diversion, particularly the Glen Canyon Dam, are major factors. The Colorado River is older than 50 years. It was the floating machine that first revealed Lake Powell's existence. And although while it is used to generate electricity, the lake's water levels are currently too low to do so. If this trend continues, the lake won't be able to generate any power. The flow of water will be interrupted. Environmental organizations are urging lawmakers to invest in altering the Glen Canyon because if this happens, the water supply for the inhabitants of Arizona, California, Nevada, and even Mexico would suffer due to the dam's location down the river. If the house had more modern technology, the plumbing system would function better. Geologists are expecting this would happen soon before the situation gets worse. 